Feel stronger already. Give me a hand over here! God for a musty crypt. It cannot be the dead they're protecting. Thank you. 
It's got to be down here. Where are you hiding, Margaret? Must be getting close. <laughs> no, 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 it can't be. Stay back. That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. You'll have to kill me! Luckily for you, it won't come to that. This kingdom is mine! Mine! <laughs> Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony. Off this thing. <laughs> you, you, you think you've won? You haven't, Lyafris. I, I sent him away with orders to destroy you. Quiet. The mess you're in, you don't know the half of it. You're a blight on this world. The whole lot of you, a rancid disease. You don't deserve Mercia. To the victor, the spoils, my lord. You must win Mercia to deserve her. We need to go. Fast. Right behind you. Orkre, you old beauty. I hardly recognized you there. Pile the soldiers here. Ah! Put me down! Only way you go down is with a rope around your neck. They'll be coming for him. Stay alert. Going to smash you?
soldiers here. Let these people bear witness to the carnage that awaits their people. Soldiers should be relieved of their duty, I think. Trouble ahead. <laughs> Here we are. Look familiar? No. No, you... You godless slugs! You won't get away with this! Cover oh, you! We'll cover you! Help! Eivor! Stick it! Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A wit end with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? No, no. I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. The Zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zealots? What does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies, nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Where to? Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the type. You have drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? It is all well and good. I've drawn some about you as well. Are you leading a land to slaughter? See what I mean? Dark. Too dark. You there! Get lost! <laughs> Sit down. I know I have been a cock. But you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said that Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you boneless? Some backrout I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow? Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Reknason. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton, we will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Abba want? To grow old and fat on the farm somewhere with little Ubers to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. People change, and it may be that you change with them, or you go your separate ways. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. 
and I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all, and that is to the death. Outed myself again. <sighs> Did I miss the crowning? Where is my son? We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word, Lord. I suggest we carry on. You sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision. That you are unfit to rule, and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Chairwolf. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. Uh, forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet, I shall try. Ah! How simple it is. How easy to kneel without fear and feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown and this pagan infested kingdom and the favors of these two faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must... <laughs> you fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life, for it is the only thing these men will grant you. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, I... I... Do not harm me. I beg of you. Please, I'll go anywhere. Here, 
I, 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 I resign it. Here. Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled, never to return. The Witten recognizes King Chairwolf of Mercia, second of his name. A just king, a merciful king. God save the king! It better be worth all this trouble. Mercy and soldiers, marching on Repton! Leofrid. Loyal to the ugly ant, the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Eivor, you must save my son. You'll come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Cheobert. Go. They have breached the walls. I must find Chelbert. Chalbert. No, but we caught sight of Leo fleeing across the river. He was chasing. Something. It has to be Chalbert. He's the only prize worth taking in this mud sink. <laughs>
the side. <laughs> Remain steadfast. <laughs> My eyes soon. <laughs> Jailbeard, he's in trouble. Don't back down, Leofrin. Please, you do not want to do this. Leofred, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofred. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leobrit. Even if you defeat me, the Ragnarsons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I am still standing. You're slowing. Bah. You're a strong-willed thane. Burkrid was lucky. To stand in the way of you and Mercia is my ah. I will die before I eat. You're finished. Not yet. Fight me, heathen. Go on, then. End it. No appeal to your guard? Or your king? I swore an oath to serve Borgra to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Burgred abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrith, I'd want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Stand, Leofrith. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burgred is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death. What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted so close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor. You have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. 
You must burn it. A scroll. Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on, let's take you back. Careful, you're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. He should have stayed hidden, Chailbeard. This wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You're a boy no longer. Back there with Leofred. I didn't think you'd spare him. There is no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth, he forged a new path. You were right about him, Chelbert. And right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. Chelbert! Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn! could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Otlinger now. Or Aetling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. We knew what this alliance might cost us. But it's over now. And everyone has gained something. Silver. Honor. Allies. Agreed. Today we turn a new page. All of England must know. The Kingdom of Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly. ...to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd... ...I would feel... ...better if... ...Chaelbert was... ...away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm... Do you have a horse, young Adeling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolfkist, as a sign of friendship. And should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Abba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That's good to hear.
Now then, Leovrit said there are hunters after me. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, I'll be marked for death. I should head to Venonis. The wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. What seek you? My prices are competitive. All right. Look here.
statue of the Zealot's use. Done. Nothing but smoke and ashes now. That should get those Zealots off my back. Gentle if they spot me.
the advantage. Have a look, Sunan. Let's get out of here. Sail! Cast the wind! Sing, my ravens. Yes. 
And rain. Run up the sail! Sing us a song. God.
That's it! Back to the ship! Can't raise the sail yet. Take the mast down! Set the mast up! Ah! <laughs> 
Help me with this! Give me a hand with this!
By the way, we are a band of bards ahead, but that madman, the self-proclaimed Bishop of the Ruins, is our... That strange instrument, made of bladder and bone. It does wheeze like an old woman. He... A worthy aim. Maybe he needs convince... You would volunteer? Ah, my ears are bleeding! Why not let the boy play music? He brings pleasure to the people. Music is the devil's wind-breaking! Foul and rancid, uh, Bishop of the Ru- It is God-given. He spoke to me as I- Then you and I agree. Die! <laughs> I will compose this day into song. Farewell. May you continue to make merry harmonies. Smack my bishop! Smack my bishop! <laughs> Hey! <gasps> 